Welcome to the Nuclear Snell channel. Today I'm going to talk about making this sort of a very quick but very powerful detailing effect for your post-apocalyptic costumes or maybe cyberpunk costumes or whatever else this might fit. Maybe even steampunk, I don't know. So this method is, as you probably know from the title already, is stamps. But I'm going to not just leave it at that, but talk a bit more about this. So, actually this video is pretty much over for everyone who was just wondering how do I make these effects, because some people were appreciating those in my works, and the answer is stamps, quite frankly, that's it. But uh, I'm gonna talk about different kinds of stamps, why I use them, what are their advantages compared to stencils at what, and what not, where you can get some kind of stamps, and so on and so forth. So first of all, let us replicate what we have here on this piece of belt. And by the way, I usually use either black or white as my colors of choice for almost all the stamps. I rarely do colorful stamps. Um, I might try it sometime, maybe like a red or something, but usually black or white um, are the most impressive, decent colors. So. I'm gonna just be using fabric paint and normally I would be wearing gloves and I suggest you wear gloves when doing stuff like this otherwise you get this paint all over your fingers. I'm not very bothered by it right now. So I'm just taking a drop of some thick fabric paint, the thicker the better, on top of a sponge. And uh, I'm not gonna just... let's use this stamp for an easier demonstration. I'm not just gonna splotch it in there, because I want to uh, just give it enough paint to be able to transfer it, but I don't want to drown it in paint. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm uh, either gonna tip it with my finger, or I'm just gonna tip it on the table, like this. Obviously makes the table dirty. But it spreads and soaks um, this sponge a bit better with it. And this is just a regular sponge, the same kind I would use for washing dishes. And then I will press it onto this stamp right here. And you can see before this I was using it with white, now I'm using it with black. And after I've done that I'm gonna take a even surface, not this one, because this one is full of holes from drilling, it's a protective plate on my table, to not be drilling into the table when I work. But here it's flat and I'm gonna try not to hold it crooked, not to hold it uh, under an angle, but to hold it just as 90 degrees as possible to the piece and apply a lot of pressure. You don't need to go nuts, but you still, you know, it's not a thing where you just touch lightly, you just press it down firmly and properly. You don't need to throw your body weight behind it, just give it enough force, right? And here we go, a nice random post-apocalyptic looking stamp. Now this here is a, a bit different kind of a beast. This one, uh, here you can actually adjust what it's saying here. Wait, let me, uh, gotta be careful when doing this. I've already jammed my f uh, fingernails in that a couple of times, wasn't fun. So it says right here, camera focus, come on, do it, do your job. So here are the numbers and stuff. And uh, on those drums right here, I can change which numbers those actually are. But since I didn't do that for a while, it's all covered in paint and stuff now. I actually need to clean it because it's so gunked up. So right now it wouldn't work if I tried to change the numbers. But usually it does. That's how it's supposed to be. And this kind of a stamp and other kinds of stamps uh, you can get online pretty easily. Right? They're sold by various um, traders, they're sold on various online and offline marketplaces. And these right here, and also a bunch more like this, I've gotten from um, the company of one of my old friends, uh, because his dad works uh, at a company that does small car parts, and what it says here is like number this and that, 500 pieces of like, I don't know what, <laughs> some technical stuff. So they chucked all those stamps out. They used to use them a long time ago. Then like, uh, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 years ago, they checked them out. That's how long I have those stamps. Back then I didn't even do post-apocalyptic costuming. I was just like, man, this is cool. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. Um, 
So yeah, um, you can ask around for stamps, maybe someone has some that they no longer need and you can have them, uh, or you just buy some online, uh, even ones that can be changed and adjusted. If you want a stamp of your like group logo or any other custom sort of a stamp, you can just, um, there is you know a lot of online services that can uh, make you one, uh, just look up for uh, make custom stamp or your custom stamp. You can also carve your own stamps from like stamping blocks or you can even cut them on a uh, cutting plotter. Cutting plotter is, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, It's uh, I'm gonna make an episode about that device at some point, but a cutting plotter is a small machine. It's relatively inexpensive, starts at about like 100 to 150 bucks uh, and it cuts uh, stencils like this, for example. Like, yeah, sure, you can cut it by hand, but if you do a lot of stencils, um, if you're uh, doing a lot of any sort of graphic des designs that you wanna transfer onto other stuff, then a cutting plotter is a really big help. So, yeah, that's pretty much it about stamps. You know, I just wanted to answer this question that someone asked a long time ago, how do I do these effects? That's how and uh, just give it a think, you know, because this is a really, really fast method of adding some interesting detail to your costume. Like a lot of people really went like, wow, this is like such an amazing detail and stuff, and you see how much time it takes, almost not at all. But you do get something that looks really nice and detailed. <laughs> just for the completeness sake, I'm also gonna fill out the stencil here as well. And again, you see what's happening to my hands? <laughs> you should be wearing gloves when doing this. Uh, didn't complete the stencil properly. Anyway, folks, I hope this mini episode was interesting and useful to you. And uh, yeah, stamps. I recommend them, use them. Great fun, fast detail. See you in the next episode. Until then, Snail, 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 snail. Oh wait, this way around. Snail, 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 snail